denial today, you know, I had a, an argument with my daughter, one of my daughters. She said uh, that there were 10 people in the village of Mamaroneck with signs up. And actually I drove by them today, they have tents set up, signs up uh, saying, uh, with anti-police brutality statements and anti-racism statements. And they were shaking, they're shaking them at the people driving by. And I said, you know, I don't think that's effective. Actually, if I'm completely honest, I laughed. And she was really insulted. And I laughed because I think that when we're protesting on that level, where it's not being picked up by the media, there isn't a government that has responsibility that's really noticing it. All we're doing is saying, well, I'm angry. I'm angry about police brutality. I'm angry about George Foreman. I'm angry about these things. There's a level of denial going on there. And the denial is that in some way, shape or form, I'm a part of it. I'm out protesting and I'm angry, but that isn't fixing it. Now I agree with my daughter that at least they're protesting. So I should have given her that. I, I probably owe her one there and, and I'll catch up on that because I make right what's, what's not right that comes out of me. And the wider point is what could those people be doing to be making a difference? Maybe they need to be big brothers or big sisters, or maybe they need to be working in a soup kitchen, or maybe they need to be, you know, any number of things that take them out of their comfort zone. 